checking the acoustics. What's going down, everybody? It's Daniel P. One more time. One more time. <laughs> one more time. All right. It's Daniel P. Once again, um, here to present you with a top five hip hop albums this year. So that's of 2015, and um, obviously December, or the uh, little bit of the last half of. 2014, because that counts as this year. Um, making this list was pretty hard, but certain spots got knocked out, certain spots stayed in place. But I figured I would make this video now before fucking Kanye West just drops an album out of nowhere, fucking Swish, and destroys this entire list. So let me get to it right now. For number five, I chose Big Sean's Dark Sky, uh, Big Sean's Dark Sky Paradise, which was, um, I think that's his third album. Yeah, it's his third album. Um, why I really chose this one is, uh, I think it's his best work so far. And I feel like leading up to this album, he, it just seemed like it was really genuinely something he worked really hard on. And he went through a lot getting to this album. So um, that's why that made the list. It, it was actually a really good album too, I liked it. This is one of those albums that I bought because <laughs> uh, I used to download, I used to download music just all the time. Just That's how I got my music, I just downloaded it. I didn't even buy it. But um, I bought certain albums, but some I was just like, oh, let me hear. Like, that's what I did with Big Sean's albums a lot, I just, I just said let me hear it because he wasn't I wasn't a big fan of his but this album I was like he seems genuine he seems like he's it's about to drop something crazy let me go get this I got it off iTunes and I'm not disappointed and I'm happy that I bought it it's a good album for pick number four I chose Logic's album The Incredible True Story um, this is Logic's second album and I really like this album um, I liked his first album, which came out last year in October, I think. But uh, I, I think this one is definitely better. It shows his growth as an artist on how he like connects certain songs and how he connected this whole album. It told a story. It told a story, and um, I don't want to. It's definitely not a story in the sense of like. Uh, Kendrick Lamar's uh, Good Kid, Mad City. It's not like that, but it's more of like a, a, a uh, comic book type story. Like it's in space and and makes you want to know like what happened to Earth, what's going on, which they explain in that. And, and I don't want to spoil the thing for you, but uh, it gets to the end and it shows you everything, what this has all been leading to, all while giving you some incredible music throughout. So that's why it's the incredible true story. But um, yeah, this album was really good. It was able to bump Big Sean's album, or not bump it, but go past it and uh, bump even another album off of the list, which I'll get to after this. But uh, this is probably Logic's best work to me. And I, um, Logic is an artist that I didn't get into until uh, early last year, 2014. Like I missed, I listened to his uh, Sinatra tapes so those are pretty good but it's he was just like uh i don't know i didn't really care for him like that but i liked him at the same time so yeah logic is is one of those artists that i'm going to be looking out for now for his next album see to see if i'm uh i don't even have to see i'm on board now i like i really like this album all right, just to wrap up the first half, I'm gonna be talking about um, an album that got taken off of the list, and I'm gonna be trying to trying to kind of do an honorable mention. Why am I crawling towards the camera like a crocodile? So yeah, an album that's off of the list, and an album that deserves an honorable mention in my eyes, but it couldn't make the list. First, we're gonna go with uh, the one that got kicked off of the list which is um, ASAP Rocky's At Long Last ASAP. That was at number four before the Logic album came along. What I really liked about this album was it, it was so cohesive and, and it 
in the sense that um, it was so co cohesive in the sense that it kept you in the same mood throughout. Like I, I felt like I was on drugs the entire time. Like uh, I don't know, I just felt drugged the entire time, and like I was in a so like a slumpy mood, and I was just doing this the whole time. I don't know why I keep doing hand gestures, but it's okay. Um, no, but. It kept you in a mood, and I really like that when albums can do that. It can keep you in a feeling when you're listening to the whole album through. So I really like that about him. I like ASAP Rocky. He's not like my favorite artist, but I, I, I do like him. And this was definitely his best album. This is his second album. His first album was a mixtape, and he put it out as an album. And then this is his second one. This is definitely better than his first one. And, um, yeah, it was really good. I liked it. Now let's go to the honorable mention, which would be my guy, Travis Scott. Um, I've been listening to Travis Scott for a while. He's had a, a few mixtapes out. Um, I know Owl Farrell. That's one of his mixtapes where like, I got it, but like I didn't, I don't know, I didn't care for it. I didn't really care for it at all. And then uh, Last Days to the Rodeo, I was like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on this one. I'm gonna go with a positive mind. And uh, I actually really liked it. I like uh, Last Days to the Rodeo. So when Rodeo came out, I was like, I'm definitely gonna get this. I'm definitely gonna listen to it. And I do like Rodeo. Rodeo is good. Um, I wouldn't say it's like a crazy, crazy all together, but um, he tried to do a little story thing, but I, I feel like it just wasn't even, it wasn't even really, it felt like it was an idea that he had and he was like, all right, let's start this. But by the end, I did not feel like I was in the story. I just felt like he just had T.I. come in like, hey man, he's lying, no quit for me. But um, yeah, I thought it deserved an honorable mention just because it was, it was good. I liked it. That's his first album that I know of. I don't know if he has other albums out, but um, I, I thought it deserves an honorable mention. Uh, if you haven't listened to it, you should go listen to it now. You should go listen to his other stuff, uh, Last Days to the Rodeo. Listen to, uh, listen to that ASAP Rocky album if you're really into that kind of stuff. Um, listen to all the albums I'm mentioning. Listen to, uh, listen to the catwalk that I'm doing once again. Uh, listen to the kids. So that completes my first half of the list. Uh, I think I'll, I'll put a little list. Let me see, let me see. Make it big enough for me to put. I'll put a little list here of uh, what my four, I meant what my five, and my four, and my honorable mention, and my didn't make the list in between my fingers. I think I could do it. But uh, yeah, uh, let me know if you agree with me. Let me know how you feel about what I'm saying. Uh, just leave it in the comments below leave it anywhere I'm weird but um yeah leave it in the uh, comments below let me know how you feel about what I what I've been saying let me know your predictions for what my three two and one is and um, I don't know leave your list leave your list leave me a list of uh, your top five I don't know, I'll, I'll comment, I'll try to comment on all of them. And um, yeah, see you for part two.